Hello everyone, it's Brianna Ray from BriIY here to bring you another video. I have found myself collecting a bunch of new gadgets off of Amazon lately and I'm super excited to test them all out on the channel. So the first one we're going to be doing today is this micro polishing pen which was actually advertised as an engraving machine on Amazon. I have had one of these before. I got it many, many years ago, honestly, um, and I did purchase it off of Wish. And I'll be honest, it was not great. Uh, it scarcely worked. It made a lot of really jagged cuts. And honestly, I'm just hoping that maybe by buying something off of Amazon, it'll turn out a little better. So let's open it up and see what we have inside. This little machine advertises itself as being able to engrave on wood, glass, metal, and I believe uh, plastic, like acrylic. Um, this is, uh, this looks like all the directions we've gotten here, um, but I do have this tiny little pink one and we've got a charging cable, which is a USB-C. These are a set of stencils, it would appear. And of course, all of the different tips and we can see there's quite a variety of sizes and shapes in there. Moment of truth, let's see if it came charged. I'm assuming this is the power button. Okay, check that out. You know what happens if I hold it? Does that change anything? No, I don't know what these <laughs> this light means. I wonder if one of these is battery power or something. But it is, uh, it is working. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the bottom three are actually the battery charge. So I think it's got it's got a full charge. Obviously, that's pretty cool. It also has um, a level load display, and it says if it goes to four, five, or six, then it is in overload. So I wonder if this has anything to do with keeping track of making sure that this machine does not, I don't know, over heat itself or damage itself or something of that nature. Let's take a peek in here and see what we've got. I don't know which way it opens. Okay. That was just attached. It just pops right off the top. Okay. There's no hinge or anything. It just comes right off. Well, that's easy. Um, okay. So it looks like there's like tiny little drill bits in here. Um, these obviously look like they're more designed for the engraving, uh, some different shapes. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to start with. I feel really called to this one. I think this pointy one was actually was on the box. It's a thicker pointy one over here. I like the um, the angle of it. I think I think this is probably what I'm gonna use and how we're gonna kind of get started. I am, however, interested to know if these drill bits work, so I'm gonna pull one out also. It also looks like they don't actually all fit in here. It looks like they've got these little like saw pieces here, which is interesting. I'm not 100% certain how to use that. My guess would be with this, and then I would install the blade on top of that. Those are the three I'm going to test, so let's get started. So here's something I'm a little confused about. So obviously I have a drill. I've used a power drill before, and I know normally you kind of tighten and untighten using this top thing here, but it doesn't actually seem to be going anywhere, so I'm not certain how to make this happens. So obviously normally you kind of shove it in there and then you are supposed to twist the top to tighten it. Well, I guess, I guess it's not coming out. Oh no, if I pull it hard enough, it does. I just don't know. It says to tighten the fastening screw of the grinding head with the matching Allen wrench. And I don't, Ooh, there? Okay, now where's the Allen wrench? Well, it seems pretty obvious to me that if there is some sort of Allen wrench that I need for this, I don't actually know where to put it because there doesn't seem to be anything on top here. And back here, there it doesn't actually like lock into anything on top of the fact that um, it's not included in the kit. So I'm not 100% what's happening here and I'm not super comfortable with it either. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what these holes do. I don't know what the point is. I guess, I don't know. Let's shove it down there nice and deep and I guess tighten this as much as I can and we'll just see what happens. I have some protective eyewear on, of course, make sure we're being safe here. And I also just have this big 
hunk of wood that, I don't know, feels like it's got some nice uh, depth here. And if I go anywhere, hopefully it's not too far, <laughs> you know, uh, since it goes pretty deep, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Um, I kind of just want to start and try to write something. Um, I guess a simple hi will do. And then I want to try out some of the stencils and these different heads and we'll come back with some final thoughts. So let's do first impressions just as is and <laughs> I don't know, wish me luck. You know what? I think I've seen worse. In fact, I know I've seen worse. It obviously, I took a second up here. I couldn't actually see because of the lighting that I had that I was making these lines. And then when I kind of angled my head a little bit better to see the shadows on like the unfinished wood, I noticed it. So I probably wouldn't have gone over it as many times as I did had I known. So I'm gonna try again, see if I can make it a little bit cleaner. And so far I'm feeling pretty good actually. It actually looks kind of good. Wow, way better than the one I got from Wish. And that only had one head, of course, so this is maybe a little bit more precise, but wow, I'm I'm actually really impressed. I kind of want to try it on different surfaces now. So I have some glass here, which I'm really nervous about in the metal. These are the ones that make me the most anxious. These are just mason jars that I had left over from um, party favors from my wedding shower, actually. So, oh, look how cute we are. Adorable. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to see what it might look like if I tried to maybe do something along the rim here and I'm gonna try to maybe do something on the bottom of the glass and let's see how that goes. I totally did the overlap thing on this H again, but guys, look, it's like working. Like actually really well. I didn't rub any of it except. Oh, come on. Like that's pretty freaking good. I'm so impressed, this is so cool. I'm actually so jazzed. I can't wait to try some of these other things. Okay, um, yeah, so let's try some of the different tips and then let's go over to the stencils and I'll show you what kind of stencils came with the kit as well. Let's try the drill tip um, and see if we can make a little hole here. Um, I don't know, let's see what happens. Oh, interesting. That is the first time that happened where I think uh, it finally overloaded and it automatically stopped. That's actually a really good safety feature. And all you have to do is press it again to get it to go back in. But look, it made the hole. It actually went in pretty well. The angle was kind of bad, so I'll do it again for you, but. And there you have it. I imagine this would come in handy doing like resin things or maybe even polymer clay to like get holes or super tiny holes in uh, for like earrings and stuff. I normally poke holes before I bake, but this is going to certainly be a way better way to get that effect. So really like this one. Um, and I guess now let's try the little saw. All I can say is please don't fly off. Please don't fly off. Please don't fly off. Okay. Okay, there we have it. And let's just kind of come up on the edge here. Okay, it stopped again. So obviously this is a really thick piece of wood. Um, and I kind of want to see what the button, what the colors do or the lights do and see if it like goes up as it gets more intense. Yeah, yeah. So you can see it kind of gets to the red point where it's like working a little bit too hard. So this is definitely not for super thick pieces of wood, but it does get the job done. I don't know about y'all, but I'm like super jazz now. So I am going to hyperlapse through using some of these stencils, show you what you got and come back with my final thoughts. All right, so thoughts on the stamps. They definitely can't be used in tandem with this. This is definitely a trace and go kind of thing. The plastic is obviously way too flimsy. Um, and while it didn't totally wreck the stamp, uh, you can definitely see it kind of tore at the edges a little bit. So definitely maybe more of a trace and go kind of thing, but the shapes are pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of natural shapes here and there's different fonts, which I think are really nice. So let me just kind of show you what we have here. So we have a couple of different leaves here. Um, there's some like different patterns, like, you know, to do line work. Here's a different font actually, which I kind of like better. There's a couple of different uh, fonts. So there's uh, this more like serif font. Not all the sections are poked out as well, but that's an easy fix. Another kind of scripty one. 
a serif slash scripty one. We've got some different, oh, the paw prints are really cute. Some different line work here. And then uh, the other package had kind of our bigger flower ones and leaves and things of that nature, shamrocks and palm trees. Oh, look at that shamrock again. Leaves, vines, um, more the natural stuff, which I actually see myself using a fair bit. And I think they're actually pretty cute. All right, time for my final thoughts. And my final thoughts are, wow, I love it. It is so much better than the one that I got from Wish. I have no idea how much I paid for that. I would assume somewhere around like seven or eight bucks if I know what I used to be willing to pay for like gadgets and things. It, honestly, it might've even been one of those, you know, free items, you just pay shipping sort of situations. So I really don't know how much I spent on that, but this is completely, completely different. And I, I'm just super crazy about how this worked. I'm super excited about all the possibilities with it. I just checked and it's actually about $27, $28 on Amazon, but there is a 10% off coupon right now. So I'm gonna leave the link down below if this is something you think will be useful in your crafting. And you know, definitely let me know if you pick it up and let me know how much you like it because I am super jazzed about it. Um, I think that's all I had for you today. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. I do put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much and I hope to see you then. Bye.